music video, there were a lot of foreshadowing clues. And first of all, I want to say the fact that you care about that still astonishes me. Like the fact that you're like, oh, I care about figuring out what are singles called and what the album's called. So thank you for that. Um, you're also very, very good at it. So which, you know, all of that will be revealed to you. A lot of it will be revealed to you pretty soon because you are correct about like most of it. Um, so a lot of people I saw had a theory regarding the idea of calm, et cetera, et cetera. So I can, I can confirm that I have a new single coming out tonight at midnight. It's called You Need to Calm Down. Um, I'm so excited for you to hear it. It's out at midnight Eastern everywhere. And the video doesn't come out for another couple days because I wanted you to hear the song first and then see the video because the video is very worth the wait. There's a lot going on in the video. And so I wanted that to be like a separate, a separate discovery. Um, but the video will be out Monday, June 17th. It's premiering on Good Morning America, but then it'll be on YouTube just, just like that. Oh my God, it's so exciting. So another thing that you were absolutely correct about was uh, the album title. Um, the album is called Lover. It's coming out August 23rd. And an easy way to remember that date is that August is the eighth month of the year. And then 23, two plus three. So you just add it all together. Eight plus two plus three equals I'm obnoxious. So, you know, everything, you know, if you just want to remember that by like, oh, it adds up to 13. There's an easy, easy way to do it. Um, this album has 18 tracks on it. That's more songs than I've had on an album before. And this album, in tone, it's very romantic and not just, not just simply thematically like, um, like it's all love songs or something. Because I think that the idea of something being romantic, it doesn't have to be a happy song or... I think that romance can be... You can find romance in loneliness or sadness or um, going through a conflict or dealing with things in your life. I think that it just kind of looks at those things with a very romantic gaze. Um, the cover was shot by an amazing, amazing photographer named Valeria Rocha. Um, check her out. Tell her how great she is because she shot this cover and it's this. It's just that. So yeah, I'm really excited about it. And um, Valeria is amazing. She's so talented and did an amazing job on the shoot. Um, I wanted to, okay, so this is like, this is standard issue, you know, just CD. And then one thing that I'm really excited about is we have we have a deluxe, and we actually have four deluxe editions at Target. Um, you can get them exclusively at Target in the US and then you can find them on my website globally. Um, and so it's, it's actually four versions of content, all completely unique content. And so I'm gonna show you what those look like. So basically, um, lots, of, lots of pages. Um, so this is what you can get at Target, also version number two, version number three. See how like that's different, different pastel color label, but there's everything inside of the, of these is different too. So basically I want to go into this with you, um, on a different, like at a different time because it's a whole thing. It's, um, I want to show you what's in these because that's, I think, going to be better to explain to you. I would, I need a whole other live stream to explain to you what is in these, but I'm really excited about it. And so everything in these is unique content. And, um, the back looks like, looks like that. Just basically looks, I'm, looks like I'm smelling a really nice scented candle by the ocean. There's a, there's a glittery heart here around my eye. And um, so 
there's also going to be two um, audio recordings on the deluxe. And usually when I'm writing songs, I like to just record everything that's happening. I like to sort of, um, you know, keep, keep, just have something recording when I'm thinking of an idea and then keep it rolling when I'm adding things to it, when I'm editing things. Um, just because sometimes you think of something like a melody or something and you don't, and you're like, oh, I think that was good. And then you just forget it the next second. So that's why I keep things recording all the time. So um, the two pieces of bonus audio content is the, the full creation of two of the songs on the album that I really love. When Taylor Swift first began dating actor Joe Alwyn more than six years ago, it was almost immediately clear the couple had come to an agreement. Their relationship would be an intimate but private one, and they would be a united front in protecting that privacy. Gone were the paparazzi photos ops of Swifties days with Tom Hiddleston and Gore Instagram pics like the ones she had posted with Calvin Harris would no longer populate her social media instead her accounts would focus on promoting her work and sharing photos of her other loves Kat Olivia Meredith and Benjamin Still, a love story like Swift and Alwyn's didn't stay behind closed doors forever. And since 2020, they have been more public about their relationship than ever before. This includes Swift's confirmation that Alwyn co-wrote two songs on Folklore under the William Bory and also helped pen three tracks from Swift's latest record, Evermore. While the couple's breakup was reported in April 2023, they have a long history that have some very special public moments welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking don't forget to subscribe like and also share nobody knows for sure when swift and alwyn's first mate but fans have determined that song dress on her 2017 album reputation might refer to their first meeting the lyrics in question flash back to when you met me your buzzed cut and my hair bridged Swifty's hair was indeed breached at the Met Gala and Alwyn's hair was buzzed. At the time, Swift was still dating Harris and this was also the night she met Hindustan and danced Goofly with him in a video that went viral and later sparked the rebound heard around the world. It was an eventful night for Tay. A month later, breaking up with Hindustan, Swift went to a Kings of Leon show with her friends. Online fans have since determined that or Alwyn was or was at the show too. After her 1989 tour and all the attention Taylor received, she learned she had to be more protective of her personal life and she and Joe decided early on to keep their private life private. The paparazzi finally caught the couple in action, sitting on a balcony in Nashville where Alwyn was alleged meeting Swifty's parents for the first time. Hoodies pulled tight over their faces. The couple were caught leaving Swifty's apartment. Swift and Alwyn seemed desperate to go incognito in these pics. Swifty hosted a secret listening session for her new album, Reputation. She allegedly told friends the single Gorgeous is about Halloween. Basically, Taylor made us all promise that if anyone made any accusations of who this song is about, we tell them it is 100% about her angel boyfriend of one year. A fan wrote and said this isn't a secret. She wanted us to tell people. On the, hills, uh, on the hills of Swifty's revelation that Gorgeous is about Halloween, her, her good friend Eddie Sheelan was asked about Halloween on a British radio show. He is really nice. He said, really, really nice. He's really friendly, really good dude. September 19, 2018, Alwyn talks about Swift for the first time, but only to say he doesn't want to talk about her. I'm aware people want to know about that side of things, he said to British Vogue. I think we have been successfully very private and that has now sunk in for people. But I really prefer to talk about work. In early October, Swift finally joined into the political world to endorse two 
Tennessee congressional candidate after a career long silence. A few days later, an interviewer asked Alwyn how he felt about Swifty's post. I think it's great and I think it's important, he said before uncomfortably shuffling away. Swift revealed why she and Alwyn chose to keep their relationship quiet. We decided together we wanted our relationship to be private, she said. Even though it, it was really horrible, I was happy, but I wasn't happy in the way I was trained to be happy. It was happiness without anyone else's input. We were just happy. Those searching for Alwyn appearances won't find much. He kissed her hand in the car at one point and hugged her backstage after a performance of Getaway Car on tour. Swift also signalled Alwyn with a song believed to be about him from her album Reputation. She sang the song Call It What You Want to Him while he filmed her.